What do you think makes a good chase scene? I think what makes a good chase scene is um, the editing, music, and cinematography. Um, music can make the scene a bit more action packed. The editing can also um, help make some tension, especially if it's um, fast cuts, and the cinematography also helps um, get a lot of tension as well. One that has um, cars, maybe the odd very attractive woman in it, and guns. Um, maybe not dramatic music, but some form of music to and get the audience hyped up for the scene, yeah, chase scene, up. and very f um, fast moving shots that constantly keeps cutting away to something else and then coming back again, <laughs> and some fence jumping. What keeps you interested whilst watching chase scenes? Um, what keeps me interested is how the characters um, interact with the object, or yeah, interact with objects whilst they're being chased. So they tend to like the person in front tends to try to like move things in front of the person chasing them, or jump through um, like objects or like windows or something, and it keeps it quite um, interesting and tense. Extremely dramatic music and a very enjoyable and subtly comedic character. That. How long is your attention span when watching chase scenes? Normally my attention span is quite good when watching chase scenes. Um, normally because the scenes before them, or before, uh, things that happen before the chase scenes, are norm normally um, set up the chase that happens later on in the film. Two seconds. What was the question again? What would you expect in a foot chase scene? Um, I would probably expect a good scenery or a good location um, and also good use of the location. So if I like, say they're on, um, chasing on a rooftop, I would expect them to be um, like jumping from rooftop to rooftop to try and escape. Um, if it's in a market, I'd expect them to like jump over like market stalls and everything in order to again escape and everything. Um, another thing that's quite important would probably be how it's again how it's edited, um, how it's all like whether it has like fast cuts or short cuts, um, depending on like what's um, happening currently on the screen. Reference first question. Really. One that has um, cars, maybe the odd very attractive woman in it, and guns. Um, an on foot chase scene, someone's like over an old jeep, uh, a few farmers running, some fence jumping, someone falling through a fence. Someone getting twatted in the end. <laughs> With a spray paint can. Yeah. Um, that, they, that they picked up and then. Very shaky. Very shaky. Yeah. And, well, not very shaky, so it looks like um, the person ha who has the camera is having a seizure. But, you know, not it's perfectly smooth, so it looks like... Running. Yeah, so, so yeah, a bit blur, not blurry, yeah, a bit shaky, so, so like, it looks like someone's running alongside the person who is running. Do you want to start anymore? Do you think a comedic twist at the end is a good idea? It really depends what you're talking about, because if you're talking about uh, referencing a child game that's played in schools quite a bit at the end, then probably no. What, Kiss Chase? What? <laughs> <laughs> Have you never heard of Kiss Chase before? No, I haven't heard of that. Oh, that's a, that, that, that's a surprise. Have you heard of Kiss Chase before? Yes. Uh, he's heard of Kiss Chase. Yeah. Like, uh, the, the most... The, yeah, it depends like, to the ex what the topic of the chase is on and how yeah. big the comedic aspect aspect at the end is whether it's just going to take away from the actual basis of what is happening in the actual chasing itself. That.